We're in the middle of a pole barn conversion. Well, just one room of it. We have this little addition to, a, to our pole barn that we're gonna be converting into a usable, functional getaway, a little outdoor entertaining space. As you can see, we got the room insulated. Today, I'm gonna to be working on it a little more, and I have a fun project planned for today, but first, let me give you an update of what we've done. Now, last night, I came out here and it was dark, turned on some lights, and I got working on the ceiling. You can see I actually got furring strips up. So now I'm gonna be working on the ceiling. We gotta get our finished ceiling done. I don't wanna reveal what I'm doing just yet. I'm gonna keep it a surprise, but I'll tell you that I'm gonna be putting up furring strips. So I picked up these really, really inexpensive one by two furring strips. And that's all I'm working on right now, is getting the ceiling prepped for the new ceiling covering. Now that was a slow and tedious process. I captured a little bit of it, but I didn't worry about filming that too long. I also went around and caulked and spray foamed some more yaps, really trying to air seal this room, make it as warm as I can. Right now I got two space heaters running in here to warm it up because I'm gonna be doing some painting today. I know it's hard to believe that we're at a painting stage already, but I wanna paint these trusses. Before I do any finish work on the walls and ceiling, I feel like it's best to get some of the painting out of the way so we don't make a mess later. So I was looking around in our paint stash in the house and we have black paint left over from some projects that we did inside the house. I actually have quite a bit of this left, two partials and a full one of these. So I'm gonna be painting all of our truss work black.
So far, this is coming out awesome. It looks really, really good. While I got the black paint out, I'm gonna go ahead and paint these posts also. Okay, we made some progress today. We got our trusses painted. We got our beams painted. And I even painted the inside of the door jam here. Black, I had it out, might as well do it. Now there was a couple of things that I forgot to do and I'll have to do it later. And that's fine, we'll pull the black paint back out and do it later. And that's gonna be some supports on the ceiling because I'm gonna be uh, adding some wood for lighting and such. And also these uh, window jams. I have to paint the inside of those. Uh, we got plenty of black paint left. So not a big deal. We just have to do it again later. The room is looking very odd right now, but it's going to look good when it's done. The black and everything. I actually like the black trusses, but it's not going to be a gothic room. Don't worry. We're going to have um, white. This wall is going to be white. You'll be seeing that soon. And probably all white walls. I don't know. Do you guys want to see some color in here? You tell me what you think. So I've been out here taping up some more cracks I found, the seams between the panels, and Ashley came out to join me. I guess the room is finally warm enough, warm enough for you. Yeah. I've been planning. I actually brought my chair in here to relax in front of the uh, heater and just stare at the walls and just think, how am I going to do this? How am I going to pull it together? I really have a good idea. We're going to buy some plywood for these walls on the back put on the walls this way and this way. Um, I'm gonna to try to use up the siding from our house. You guys might remember, I think we have 24 pieces of siding left over. Not being used, no purpose, so. We already bought them, so why not use them? And I think I can make it really cool. My idea is since we have a door, exterior door, is to side it. It's gonna look like the side of a house inside the barn. And I'm having some really cool plans to tie all this together and just make it look really neat when it's done. You guys are going to love it. So, siding. And the, and the rest, like I said, I'll just do plywood because it's cheap, sturdy, and we'll just paint it. This room is actually almost 15 by 18 feet. It's a pretty good sized room. And since we left the ceilings open, you can imagine there's a lot of area to heat. We got two little space heaters in here, and it doesn't feel that bad. It's fine. Well, I'm sitting right in front of the heater. It's not that bad. I've been working well with the coat on. Yeah. I don't know the temperature, but it's a lot warmer than outside. So that's good. But I don't want to just rely on plug-in heaters to keep the space warm. So I did go in and did some shopping tonight, and I ordered a heater for this specific room. I hope it's going to work good. I hope it's going to be big enough to heat the space efficiently. I also did some shopping for some other things and you guys are gonna really enjoy seeing what's coming next. Other than that, I don't think we have too much to share today. We're just trying to make progress where we can. I did get the threshold done in front of the washing machine. So that's good, I mentioned that in the previous video. I basically used a piece of vinyl trim that I had laying around here for a long time. I actually bought it for that purpose. I kind of cut it, modified it to work, and then hooked it to the floor, and it created this lip. If the washer ever leaked, it'd be good to like not have the water spilling everywhere. Into the house. So that's it. No more updates. I guess we're going to wrap it up. Like I said earlier, if you guys have any ideas of maybe colors, like I said, this is going to be white over here, but we might paint the rest of the walls white. I don't know if it should be all white room or if we should add some color. So let me know what you think about that and 
I'll probably start working on the ceiling next. You guys are going to want to see what I'm putting on the ceiling. It's weird. So, thanks for watching, and until next time, take care. Bye.